tomorrow. Finally, we meet in person. Uh, we are in Paris at the No Code Summit. I'm so happy that we finally uh, get to meet in person after, I would say, over a year of conversations. Uh, and uh, yeah, happy to, to, to be with you. And we would love to hear about your project with the super app that you built uh, using Bravo and different tools. But tell us a little bit about yourself first, uh, okay. your background, and right. then we're going to details with your project. Okay, so Pedro, same back. It's really a pleasure to meet you, and it's what's been really super to work with you and with Bravo Studio. I'm actually a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. I'm working in graphic design. I studied graphic design. I come from a long background of building things. And uh, of course, I worked on Adobe XD. I worked with Figma. I feel very comfortable. And then we had a problem uh, where we wanted to form a company where we could do a new use case and bring that to life. I was looking for well, how can I build native apps with my Figma design. And I came to Bravo and I was, yeah, I was really astonished what you can do with Bravo, how you can build it, how you can integrate things, how I can just move my design. So that was, a, that's why I was felt immediately very comfortable with Bravo. Excellent. So now tell us about the project. Uh, it is related to real estate. Uh, it is related to some new regulations uh, that were uh, being applied in the country, in that's Austria. Correct. That's correct. So that's tell correct. us about the project. That's correct. The, the project was, um, we had the problem in like some friends of mine and uh, there was also company founders of the super app uh, that uh, when you visited an apartment from a real estate that was listed, that you had a lot of no-shows, people didn't just come, but the agents had to come, then they were waiting, and sometimes it has a problem with, they, they, they needed to guide them through the flat, but then they said, actually, that's not really necessary because I already saw the picture. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a tool where you can book your own appointments, go to the apartment, open the doors yourself, and just look at the apartment, and then you just have a small window where you can open that, and that was our use case. So we thought if we have some uh, smart locks installed on doors, but how are we gonna do this with the setup of the appointments? And this is where the design came in, the user experience came in, the workflow came in. And we said, yeah, actually it's possible. And we can build something like this with Bravo. Uh, we fiddled around and then we found Achilles as a great partner for the smart locks because they could uh, integrate, we could integrate the API in our database and um, we had the first app pretty quickly with the help of uh, the team of Bravo. And uh, when we had the first users on the app, we were astonished how many people signed up and used it. And uh, the feedback we got was super positive. So people, we had like 10, 15 views of, a, of an apartment in a day. Uh, nobody really needed to go there. We were astonished that nobody really damaged anything. So they came, they looked, they closed the door, they said, oh, it right they even called so we got super feedback for the app so That's it amazing. was uh, absolute success so let's break it down into the tool set to actually make this happen so we went from the idea um, of the problem we came up with the idea we designed the app coming from a design background and we needed to make it real so the tool set was Figma starting with the yes. design yes we needed um, a platform to convert the design into a real application. Right. That's where Bravo Studio comes in, uh, turning the design into a native mobile app for iOS and Android. And then we needed to manage data. For that, I believe uh, we used Xano, which we is Zano, a great right. backend tool. Perfect, yeah. And then we needed the um, component or the smart locks, which is the actual physical uh, right. product. And we need to integrate with these smart locks. Right. Uh, in this case, uh, we used uh, Achilles. Right. Um, also, Spanish Barcelona-based company. Basically, it's a, um, a cloud access control company uh, that provides smart locks with full control. Who goes in? All of the data you need to control when people have been right. coming in and coming out. Now, what was the experience actually with Bravo in the middle? Because we have on one side the design, and we have all of the data. Um, and physical product, in this case, Achilles uh, Smart Locks, on the other side. How was experience working and putting together the different components with Bravo Studio? So, uh, 
I already had some experience to connect data in, in applications because I used other applications and I have to say that was very smooth. So for me, that was not really a big problem. It's very logical when you have the app, when you upload it in Bravo Studio, you just know the endpoints, you connect the endpoints. What was new to me was Xano. Uh, I'm actually happy, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. to use it because I see now it's super fast, the users, and, uh, it's, a, it's a really great backend. Yeah. And uh, we were, we were, it was, it, it worked very smooth. So I had to learn a few things mm -hmm. to int that were different because I used other database like Airtable. But um, rather than that, it was very, very easy to build it. Awesome. Yeah, it was good. It was and a good experience. If you had to um, tell us one or two main strengths of Bravo Studio um, and any sense on how easy or flexible it is in terms of making changes to the app, uh, in terms of the design iterations later, because we understand that we have to learn how the user experience goes and then adapt to it and make changes. So how, how was that for you? So how I see it is uh, Bravo is a tool for designers. That's, that's, that's the great part because I felt immediately comfortable. I could put up my design, everything was possible. I could use be pixel perfect in Figma and, and transport that over to, to, to Bravo. And what was, I was like, so what you're saying, like how was it to make changes? I was so fascinated about, I made one design change in Figma and it was automatically published on my app. In, in, and as I said, like that's felt like magic to me, because like designers like me, we always like to like you know you see it, you say like you get some user, the user asks you something, so like oh that's a little bit different. So like okay, I have to change that, and I could change that immediately. Mm -hmm. So that was it. It's really like a fast track. You can go build it fast. You don't have to go download it, write it, upload it. It's immediately published. It's it was perfect for me. So. I liked it I really a lot. So yeah. we, look, we look forward to, to, to continue seeing the development of this project. Um, definitely applicable to many countries and many, many companies. Hopefully. So uh, looking forward to continue working with you. That's great. It's really, it was really fun to work Thank on Bravo. So Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, it was very Thank good.